There are different components of a pump-out station. Knowing the system combined with proactive monitoring and maintenance can help to prevent breakdowns at your facility. Before we talk about maintenance and troubleshooting, it's important to know that there's three different types of pumps for marine sanitation purposes. Diaphragm, vacuum, and peristaltic. The maintenance of peristaltic pumps will be the focus of this video. All are designed to transfer liquid from a boat to a land-based disposal facility. Performance of the different pump types will vary significantly due to pipe size, changes in pipe direction, horizontal distance, and change in vertical height. A peristaltic pump consists of a metal or fiberglass enclosure. Other components include an external hose which connects the pump to the nozzle and handle. The nozzle assembly, which includes a sight glass, shows whether fluid is moving through the system. The ball valve opens and closes the line during pumping. When not in use, it should be left in the closed position. The nozzle tip is attached at the end. Inside the enclosure, you can see the pump, which consists of rollers that push against a flexible tube. The resulting pressure pushes the fluid out of the tube. When the tube is open, a vacuum is created to draw in fluid. The liquid or solids being pumped move through the internal hose towards the outtake lines. The plumbing for a pump out station typically connects to onshore sewer lines or storage tanks for disposal. Other videos in these series refer to weekly, quarterly, and annual maintenance tasks, winterizing units, and troubleshooting common issues. Refer to these videos and your owner's manual before contacting your CVA coordinator to solve issues.